Is it time to update your iPhones and your iPads to 18.1? In this video, I'm gonna let you know. Let's go. Back in September, Apple released iOS and iPadOS 18, which brought some new features. But at the time I said to you, if you're already working on a big project or you've got some important work happening on your iPhone or iPad, now is not the time to update. Well, we're at 18.1 now, and the short answer is you're pretty safe to update now, but I wanted to give you some more details about these updates so that you're not surprised and you don't update for the wrong reasons. Let's dive in. Now, if you took my advice before and you are still on version 17.7 .7 because you're right in the middle of recording an epic album and you're mixing and mastering or you're doing something important, you're still fine. Version 17.7 .7 still gets security updates because it's not available on all devices, Apple is still supporting it. However, if you are past that point and you want to take the plunge, I always say at the dot one upgrade is usually when all the bugs have been ironed out and you're safe to update. To update on your iPhone or your iPad, simply go to your settings app and then tap on software update. Now, it'll have the update here. If you're on 18 or 18.01, it'll just say to update to 18.1. If you're on 17.7, .7, there'll be an additional button there that will say upgrade to iPad OS or iOS 18. Tap on that one. It'll download, it'll install, and you'll be good to go. And once you're updated, you're free to enjoy all of the new features, such as the new control center that you can customize here. You can actually edit your screen and use things like dark mode now by coming in here and tapping on the edit button. You can add widgets, you can customize. There's lots of cool features under the hood, but remember, none of these are game changers. And if you're excited about the Apple intelligence and Siri enhancements, I got a bit of news for you. If you're in the US region using US English or you're visiting there, you'll now have access to some, but definitely not all of the new Apple intelligence features. Apple are rolling these out very slowly. So at the moment, you've got things like the writing tools and the notification summaries. More features are coming in version 18.2, which we're expecting later in the year. And if like me, you're in Australia or Canada or other English speaking countries, those languages are being updated later in the year and other languages languages and other countries are coming early 2025. So keep your eye on the channel here. I'll let you know once we have them available. And version 18.2 is where we expect to see those custom emojis and that image playground that we saw in the update that seemed like it was quite a few months ago because it was. But in 2025 is the year where we're going to really start seeing all of these new Apple intelligence features. And for those like me who are using the iPad Pro with M4, we had some problems up dating to that first update that was fixed in iPadOS 18.01. 18.1, we didn't have any of those problems. So if you were using a device that wasn't able to update, then now you can. So is it time for you, your friends, your family to all update to version 18.1? Well, the best recommendation I can give you is that I've told my family and friends to do it. And because I'm the tech support for them, that's a pretty big call. Hope you found this one useful. If you've got questions or your own experiences, drop those in the comments below and I'll see you next time.